uplink. What is going on everybody? It is Zach here and in today's video I'm going to be discussing some of the Advanced Warfare brand new news and information that was just released within the past couple of days due to Gamescom being held. And uh, let's get started off with this. It's going to be a quick and short video just explaining to you guys some new information that we got from Charlie Intel. And the first one that's going to be starting off is we have Theater Mode not returning to Advanced Warfare. Now, a lot of people, including myself, thought uh, that there would be theater mode in this game but they the reason why they're not putting it in is because the next gen consoles the xbox one and ps4 they if you guys do not already know which i'm pretty sure most of you know if you follow gaming already that they both carry game dvrs which is basically like you can record anything you want on your screen and you can share it to youtube you can share it to any other social media website or in general save the video for yourself put it on your computer but it's not really amazing. Like I know they're trying to like push out the technology to record and everything, but it's not amazing. Like I'd rather still have the theater mode. But there are benefits in not having it as well. They're not just because of the next gen consoles. The reasons why they also don't have it is because it gives it better uh, hit detection, less lag, and it's just overall a smoother game. So I'm willing to give up theater mode just to have a, a better and smoother and more fun game. Now the next one, it's pretty interesting. Esport camos or exos might come to advanced warfare. So what this means is uh, Earlier today, I'm gonna read the article. It says earlier today Sledgehammer games teased during their live Q&A that esport pro call of duty teams might be getting some attention in advanced warfare's multiplayer So that means that there could be specific team member camos So say like you have optic and everything like they could have like a, a green and black and white camo Like you never know really. I mean they have concept arts and Charlie Intel and uh, I'll put some of those up on screen right now, but they have some pretty cool stuff on here. But I, I would hope that instead of having eSport camos, you can make your own camo. So I don't know how that's going to play out, but that's definitely going to be some cool stuff to look forward to in the future. And uh, the next one is Sledgehammer Games reconfirms more score streaks and upgrades will be available at launch. Now, I know a lot of people, including myself, both thought you know, when I saw the, the score streaks and everything. I knew like it's a beta build, obviously. It's not going to be the full game or else they would have released it already. So they're, not, they're also not going to want to put the whole entire game, like everything, score streaks and upgrades and perks and weapons and everything, at that event because then everyone's going to just people that play the game for a long time, they'll just get used to everything by the time it's launched and then they won't know what to expect. Like they don't know if more is coming or not. So. It's good that they did that, you know, you, you want to keep people to, like, the main bulk of everything. You don't want to give them too much of options because you also just want people to get the basics down. So, that's pretty much it for the video today, guys. Uh, no theater mode, eSport camos might be coming to Advanced Warfare, and Sledgehammer Games reconfirms more score streaks and upgrades will be available at launch. So, uh, if you guys like the video today, um, don't forget to uh, leave a like down below and subscribe if you already haven't, and there will be a lot more Advanced Warfare videos coming out in the future. Thank you, guys, and see you later.